Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to actually set up our development environment to start writing REST API applications. So by the time we are done with this tutorial, you will have your development environment set up. You will have a simple project, which is a REST API application. You'll be able to deploy that in Tomcat. You'll be able to make a REST API request and return a REST API response. You think that's a bit too ambitious for a single tutorial? Well, let's see. Of course, the first step is you have the Java E version of Eclipse. So you open a new workspace. And uh, when you create a project, what you would typically do is download the jars, right? So since we're using Jersey, we need to go to the Jersey website and download the jars. But here's the thing about Jersey, right? If you open their uh, website, which is jersey.java.net, if you look at the download section over here, it says Jersey is mainly distributed via Maven. There are ways to get the jars as a separate download, but they have made it so easy to use uh, Jersey with Maven that that's the option I'm going to go with. And that's, uh, trust me, that's much more easier than downloading all the jars. In case you're not familiar, Maven is a project management utility. Not project management as in what your boss does, right? Like timesheets, status updates, and meetings. So this is Java project management. So when you're creating a project in Eclipse, for example, you have a Java project. And there are things you would have to do in that project, like run it, add dependencies, you know, take, you know handle the life cycle and all that stuff. So Maven is something that actually manages that. There's a separate course on an introduction to Maven on the Java Brains website. I have linked it in the video description as well as on the web page itself. So take a look if you're interested. But again, like I said, you know, if you're building enterprise applications, there's really no excuse to not know Maven. So how would you create a Maven project? Well, Maven projects are created using command line primarily, but since you're using, if you're using the latest version of Eclipse, Eclipse has support for Maven. So what you do is, in a clean workspace, right click and say new project. And again, if you're using the latest version of Eclipse, you should see Maven as the entry here. So you can say, I want to create a new Maven project and click next. Now, let this be the defaults. And now here you can choose the type of Maven project that you want to create, right? So you're selecting an art type. Art type is basically like a template, right? Like a preset project, which you can use to create your own projects. So you want to create a simple web application. There's an art type for that. You just choose that art type and you have a simple web application for you to start working on, right? You need an you know, app with an EJB. There's an EJB art type. So similarly, there should be a Jersey archetype. So type Jersey in the filter. You might see this entry. I have two entries here, but the one that we are interested in is the second entry, Jersey Quick Start Web App. If you don't see this when you filter by Jersey, that means that this archetype is not registered in your development machine. So you have to register it. Now, how do you register it? You go to add archetype button. And here you enter the values for that archetype. So the first field is called archetype group ID. And for this, you enter the value org.glassfish.jersey.archetypes. Next, you have the archetype artifact ID. And for this, you enter jersey-quickstart-webapp. And finally, the archetype version. Well, the version as of today, as I'm recording this video is 2.16. So this could be different depending on when you're watching this video. Uh, so you could choose the latest version or you could choose 2.16 to follow along. Finally, the repository URL is, you can leave it as blank and hit okay. And this should register this archetype so that when you go back, do this screen again and search for Jersey or Jersey Quick Start Web App, you should see this entry. This is basically what we've registered, right? The group IDs are Glassfish Jersey archetypes, the artifact ID is Jersey Quick Start Web App, and the version is 2.16. This is exactly the value that we've just entered. Okay, so now that this is showing up, this is the archetype that we will use to bootstrap our project. So I'm gonna hit next. 
And now it asks me for my project details, right? So what we've entered, the group ID and the artifact ID is for the archetype. But now I'm creating a new project that says, what's the group ID and artifact ID for your project? So I'm gonna choose the group ID brains and the artifact ID is messenger. So you can think of group ID as kind of like a package ID and artifact ID is the name of your project or the artifact. Version, I can leave it as fine as 0.0.1. Packages are Kaushik Java Brains Messenger. This looks good, so I'm gonna click finish. Now what uh, the Maven plugin in Eclipse is gonna do is it's gonna get that art type and create a project out of it using the exact same template and it's gonna call it messenger and give it the package name org.kaushik.javabrains. So it's gonna create this whole project exactly the way the archetype is designed. Now here you see it's downloading all the artifacts and creating the project. So I'm gonna pause this video till this whole thing is done. Okay, so now Maven has finished downloading everything and the messenger project is right here. Now, if you look at the markers tab and you don't see any errors, well, you're one of the fortunate ones. I get this weird error when I use the archetype. So it basically says the superclass HTTP servlet was not found on the Java build path. This shouldn't stop you from running the project. And uh, once we get the project up and running, I'll explain what this error is and why it's showing up. But uh, basically you have a project, right? This is, as the archetype said, it's a web project. Now we need to run it. How do you run a web application? Well, you need a servlet container, right? So let's go ahead and create a server in Eclipse. So go to the servers tab, and uh, if you're creating it from a blank workspace, there shouldn't be any servers available here. You'll just click this link to create a new server. So I'm gonna choose Apache. I'm using Tomcat 7, click next. Now I need to browse to the Tomcat installation directory. So I'm gonna hit click browse. And uh, I have Tomcat available in my Java folder. So I'm gonna click that. This is Tomcat 7 and I click open and you have the Tomcat installation directory over here. Now I choose the Workbench Jerry, that should be fine. I click next. I want the messenger added to the server and I click finish. And now you have Tomcat here. Let's run it. Right click and click start. Okay, so now you have Tomcat up and running. Now let's see if this messenger has been deployed and is working fine. So I click run as, run on server. Okay, always use the server please and finish. And there you see a simple web page showing up at localhost colon 8080 slash messenger that says this is a Jersey RESTful web application. Yay, now we have a Jersey application up and running, which is very simple. Okay, now there is a link here which says Jersey resource. Now let's click on this and see what happens. We say you get a text called, got it. So you might be surprised, but what's actually happening here is by accessing this URL, you're actually making a REST API request. And this got it is actually a REST API response. So within a space of five minutes or so, I think you managed to create a REST API application, ran it on Tomcat and made a request and got a response. So I'll let you celebrate. And in the next tutorial, we'll kind of try and understand what's going on behind the hood. Uh, before we wind up, I'll just give you a quick explanation on this error, right? So the super class HTTP servlet is apparently not found in the build path. So the reason it's happening is Maven, like I said, it's a project management utility. What it does is it downloads jars for you, right? So you didn't have to download the Jersey jar, right? So it downloaded it for you. So if you look at the Java resources folder over here and the libraries, there is this folder called Maven dependencies. And if you expand this, you see there are like a bunch of jars which you didn't have to go ahead and download, but it just showed up. That's the magic of Maven. So you see all these Jersey jars over here. So Maven makes it very simple. But the reason Maven makes it simple is the Maven artifact, sorry, the Maven archetype 
needs to have a list of all the jars that the project would need. And this archetype is apparently missing the HTTP servlet class in this path. But thankfully, HTTP servlet is provided by Tomcat, which is why it's not much of an issue, but it is a pain to see this error in the markers tab. We're gonna make some changes to this project, which is gonna to lead to this error going away. But for now, don't worry about it. You have created, like I said, a RESTful API application, made a request and got a response. Let's celebrate and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.